Hi guys, now I'm going to be showing you the initial setup of the OUYA console. So uh, let's get cracking. First thing first is we're going to get the remote right here and we're going to actually install the batteries. Now the batteries actually go uh, underneath here, so what you need to do, you need to just basically lift each cover off, like so. Uh, just basically pull it off. Lick your batteries. Uh, see which way they go. So is here are a log tab so it helps you get the batteries out. So make sure you you install the batteries like that way. Okay, so um, it needs to go in downwards by the looks of things, like so. There we go. Same thing you, you got your tab there now where you can just pull it and your battery will come out. So you do the same each side. So again battery goes downwards and pushes in like so. Alright, and you just get basically then get your cover and just pull it back over the top, give it a small push, and there we go. So that's the controller done. So put that down. Now we're going to be connecting up the actually OER console itself. So we're going to be connecting up with the included HDMI. So we are going to put the console just here a sec. So you need to connect this into a spare HDMI socket on your TV, like so. Then into the console on the back, like so. So there's that. Now I'm going to connect it up via uh, a wired internet connection. Uh, so I'm going to take it out of here and plug it in here. Now this is just a remote there guys, this is just an initial setup. Um, obviously you probably want to reroute and make sure your cable is a lot better than what I'm doing here. But this is just basically a quick and easy setup guide specifically for you guys. So we've got that all connected up now. Next bit is we need to connect up the power supply. So again, on the back, just uh, push it in. And plug it into a, a free PowerPoint. Alright, off you go. Alright, so now that's basically all plugged in, ready to go. Now I've got the remote right here ready, and I'm going to turn the console on. So just basically push the button on the top and turn it on. Now that door's light up. Obviously, I'm going to give you a few minutes now, and it will come up. Uh, while I'm waiting, uh, for that as well, I'm just going to uh, power on the remote. I'm just going to press the button right in there. Ready? Alright, so to pair your controller, press and hold that. So actually, I even jumped a step there. I've turned it on before, but it doesn't matter. Uh, to pair your controller, press and hold that button right there until the middle two LEDs are flashing, which is right there, so pressing all that. Right, they are flashing now. now I'm going to hit the O, which is there, to select. There you go, and it's all come up now, it's lit up, so it's connected. And on the controller itself, I don't know if you can see that, but there's just one LED lit up to say that you paired uh, this to your O, yeah, and this is by C, your joypad one. All right, so now that's done, I'm gonna to go to uh, continue. Join our wireless network. Now this is also Wi-Fi, guys. Remember, remember that, so you've got uh, loads of different Wi-Fi points you can actually choose from. But I'm actually using a Ethernet cable. So I'm going to use, go down here and select Ethernet. So press zero. I was checking for your software updates now, so there's been any new uh, updates since you bought the console. Uh, it's actually going to check and obviously download and install the updates, so it's more take a minute, so please bear with me. Right then, now it's actually uh, done all that, it's gone through the update, it's as finished downloading, uh, it just basically asked me now to click OK to apply it and to restart. So go ahead, you just hit the uh, zero on your uh, controller right here, preparing update, buck up, preparing for installation, please do not turn off your OYA or unplug the power wire in the update is in progress. 
Now that's very important guys because if it's in installing a firmware update and you pull the wire out and then obviously turn your console off, it can actually damage the console because it's stuck partly installing a firmware update. So it's very important to never ever turn off anything that is updating the, the firmware. So uh, please do bear that in mind. So never ever force your console off while in a update uh, uh, process like that. So, as we start, you've got the AES symbol, you've got the loading bar there. Obviously, it was probably still installing some stuff, so. Give me a minute. So, actually, restarting still, guys. Bear with it. Here we go. Simple's come back up again, right there. So, it's obviously just doing something. And there we go, your area is up that is upgrading. So, and here we are, back onto the, uh, the uh, startup uh, welcome screen right there. Welcome. To pair your controller, press and hold the uh, button in a minute to do flashing. So, obviously, this has done some sort of uh, uh, update, so you obviously got to repair. So, done that. Just do exactly what size on the screen, guys, and just carry on basically. So there you go, your, your console is now up to date and it's continuing its uh, installation. Now from here I can either select a new account or an existing account. Now this is uh, the first time I've actually set this up, so I do need an account. So I'm going to go to create a new account. Now it's going to ask for a username, email, password and to confirm your password. Right, so I'm just going to enter in my details now, even though you ain't going to see it. Because I'm just going to pause the video right here until I do this part. Well, yes, guys. So once you've entered in all, all that and clicked on register, it basically just ask you to confirm your email. So your email address will come up on screen. If it's correct, you just press OK, and you're taken now to your payment options. Here you can actually uh, enter in a, a credit or debit card, or you can uh, render the uh, code. So it's up to you. If you've gone and got a code uh, for your console, and then basically go there and enter it in. More case. Uh, I'm just going to go in there, uh, entering uh, some uh, credit details, and uh, and I'll uh, just go into pause right here, and I'll come back to you. Right then, so it's now done that. It's all successful. Nice job. You're well on your way. Remember, you can always check your account balance in the uh, the manage section of your. Oh yeah. So everything's done. I've got all that bit set up now. And then last bit now is to click on finish account setups, which I'm going to do now. That's it guys, it's all set up and ready for you to go. So, uh, but basically that's just a uh, quick uh, guide on how to set up the OEA console from actually uh, setting the control up to connecting the OEA and to setting up your new account. Well then that's it for me and do feel free to check out more of our videos over at www.geekstech.co.uk and also youtube.com forward slash geekstech. And don't forget guys to give us a like and hit that subscribe. I'm Wayne Lewis and we will catch you later.